I turned 40 a few days ago and I decided that for my 40th birthday I wanted to set myself a goal that involved being outdoors and doing the things that I love. So I decided to set myself a target of reaching 40 summits of 40 mountains at the age of 40. So over the next year that's what I'm going to be doing. Today is gonna be summit number one and two actually because um, I have a delivery that I'm doing over in um, Exeter which is near Dartmoor and there are two mountains there or two hills that are actually classed as mountains because they're over 609 meters um, high wheel high wheel haze I think it's called and yes tour so um, I'm gonna do my delivery and then head over to Dartmoor and um, go on a bit of a hike and uh, hopefully reach the two summits. massive hill which looking at the map is in the right direction although I'm not on any kind of path um, which might be a bit silly of me but I've got a map I'm sure I'll find my way back <laughs> it's fine Back on track after playing around in the rocks for a little while. It's just beautiful. I mean, standing on the edge there, oh, it's so windy, <laughs> but it just felt oh, amazing. Um, I didn't expect much from Dartmoor, I don't know why. I think because not many people bother with these mountains, they're still in Wales or the Peak District. Um, so I guess I wasn't expecting much. I don't know much about them, but it's just amazing.
first walk. Um, yeah, so far so good. I think I've got about 3k, 3.5k back to the car. Um, yeah, I'm pretty proud of us. I think we've done an awesome job. Um, and um, okay, so the weather's been t challenging, it could have been worse. I wouldn't have changed today at all. Um, even all the stupid mistakes I've made, like it took me 10 minutes to work out where the trail started from and things like that. But it's all learning, isn't it? You've got to make these mistakes to learn from them. So um, I'm going to come out from behind my rock. What's that noise? Other than the dog. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm going to come out from behind my rock, get back in the wind, and um, head back to the car. So I've just come down from there and um, I really needed to concentrate on the map because I literally there's no path and I have no clue which direction I'm meant to be going in um, so I didn't bother filming it that and the fact that I nearly fell over about three times because it's so wet and uh, going downhill with the dog is never easy um, so I'm going to turn you around so you can see the views now that I've come out of the cloud a little there we go There's a really cool little stream down there, which I think we should check out. How clear is that water? Got to try and get across this. I'm going to attempt to jump it. It's quite wide though. Come on then, Bo, ready? Are you ready? Let's go. One. Oh, she's gone. Oh, oh, oh no! She stacked it! That's a sign. It's a sign that I'm going to... How bad is it? Really bad. Right, let's, let's jump down here. I'm such a coward. Or am I sensible? I don't know. Either way. Ready? Watch me fall. One, two, three. three. Ah! <laughs> God, that's how deep my leg went. I nearly lost my foot. That was reckless and stupid and I shouldn't have done it. But it's really wet and boggy. And there have been areas that, well, half that I'm on, I don't really have a choice. I have to go through them. I suppose I could have walked a little bit further up the street to find if there was an easier way around, but it's not how I do things. Luckily, I didn't lose a shoe or break my ankle, or get stuck in the mud. But I am quite wet. This bit's a bit drier, thank God. Um, yeah. I'm starting to come out the clouds now. See it all misty behind me. I'm kind of watching where the dog goes to see how deep it is. The problem is, I think she's quite a bit lighter than me, so she doesn't sink quite as far. But, um, I love being outdoors. Um, I love that I've set myself a task that I've, you know, things that I've never done before. Um, my feet are wet. My hair's a mess. I need not bothered washing it this morning.
what I love. So we're back at the car, we made it. My phone died literally just as I was walking into the car park. So I was like, oh my God, thank God for that. Um, so I'm gonna get out of my wet boots and um, socks. And I thought I had a spare pair of trainers in the car, but apparently not. Never mind. It's not that cold, so it's fine. Um, I'm now gonna go and do my delivery then find somewhere to car camp. I need to get some food as well at some point, so um, hopefully I'll find somewhere to do that. But what an awesome walk. Absolutely amazing. Loved it, loved every minute.